Let's discuss another clear indicator that you're living in the Lordship of Jesus. It's your trust in how truly sovereign he is over everything that takes place on earth and everything around you. Think of how Jesus affirms his sovereignty. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Fully accepting by faith his supreme and ultimate rulership will bring you the peace that only he can give. Jesus assured his beloved disciples that even tiny sparrows aren't forgotten by his Father. So why should you doubt or be anxious when that same God knows you right down to the number of hairs on your head? The peace Jesus brings doesn't depend on him giving you what you want, but a peace regardless of what happens. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Your peace in Christ is a result of your confidence in His sovereignty. It isn't based on events around you. It comes from assurance of His Spirit's presence within you. Absolute confidence in His Lordship produces a peace that transcends all understanding. And it's a peace that needs to be mutually developed and maintained. Peace deepens as you seek together to become more like Jesus. And as you mutually press on to mature in his love for one another. You help each other to live repentantly, making sure that within each home there's no unconfessed sin. As a family, you together turn to the spirit of Jesus in your midst. You ask him for his wisdom in applying God's commands to your marriage, family, and home life. Your Heavenly Father sees the righteousness of your obedient trust. It's a trust that grows as you stay repentant. He then answers your prayers so your whole family can bear witness to his glory and faithfulness. It's in your home that you first establish absolute confidence in the promises of God found in his word. Our Father's perspective is generational. He's looking for you to train your children to walk righteously before Him in Jesus. In your home, your children learn from you to be anxious about nothing and to bring everything in prayer to the God who loves them. It's you who role models confidence in your Lord. Then your children can have assurance that God will hear their prayers. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. Our Father promises to hear the prayer of the righteous. Do you have confidence in his loving sovereignty that he answers according to what's best for you from his perspective? When you approach your Lord in prayer with open hands, you're trusting that he'll answer your need in whatever way and in whatever time will fulfill his plan and purpose. He's looking for your trust in his lordship so he can use your testimony to affect the lives of others. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Elijah was a man just like you. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crop. God says Elijah was a person just like you, not some super spiritual giant. Do you believe your Lord? Your relational trust in Jesus as your Lord and as the author of all life enables him to work mightily in your midst collectively as a faith family too. And this trust is the foundation to each of you serving him together as his beloved slaves. Gratefully living out together your calling as slaves of Jesus, as his precious possession, is a joyous privilege. In your way of life, as you authentically love and serve one another, reflects that you each truly trust and belong to him. Living with Jesus as Lord of your lives is a mutual journey of suffering as well as joy. For the past 17 years, We've been sharing the Hebraic foundations our Father revealed to us. We've come to recognize 
that living with such love for our Lord Jesus together motivates our actions because we want what pleases Him. When you're free from the hindrances of strongholds, toxic memories, and blasphemous religious practices, you begin to see people through the eyes of Jesus. You become burdened for what moved Him to hang on the cross, the salvation of mankind. It's at this point you see yourself as a person He's called out of the world's ways and values to fulfill His purposes in His kingdom. And you see your relatives, neighborhood, workplace, school differently. Your love from Jesus and for others is so great, you want everyone to experience the relationship with Jesus that now motivates you. If this describes the motive of your heart, then you're living the way of the Lord.